Hello, and welcome to the David Todd Miller Podcast. I'm your host, David Todd Miller. This podcast is about fitness, nutrition, having a positive mindset, and how to optimize the human performance as well as the human experience. This podcast is also about developing a never say die attitude, living a life of positivity and passion, and most of all, having hope. Hey guys, how's it going? David Miller here. Sorry, I've been AWOL for about four months now, losing a little guy, Snickers. Uh, kind of took the wind out of me. Hope you guys have been good. And, uh, you know, some other things have come up. I had to relocate the business, kind of reamp it, restart it. Uh, not from the ground up, but it was a good, uh, a good brisk kind of uh, pace there for a while. Things are going good. Hope you've been well, like I said. And I just wanted to talk today about living your fears or living your freedom and i was thinking today i'm walking back it's a uh, friday evening looking at everybody nice and tired majority of them which makes sense put in a long work week i'm sure just like you guys but i wanted to encourage you to think about these next few hours these next 48 plus hours that you have of your freedom, what are you going to do with it? What are your plans? Are you going to go out and party and celebrate that you made it one more week? Or is there something deeper that you can gain from these extra hours that have no obligation to them, at least in the workplace? Sure, you have family obligations, may have friends visiting, like myself, Dave Jones, actually on a previous podcast, is coming in this evening. So I get ready to deploy overseas, so wishing him all the best. It's going to be good to catch up with him. So you might have people coming to visit, like Dave, but there are going to be pockets of time. And you could say this even in a day-to-day aspect, that you have time to work towards what will bring you freedom. And it's different for every individual. Freedom might be having more money, having more time, having more resources. You may already be living your dream, be living your freedom in a manner that you are more than content and brings you all the happiness that you could ever want, or at least so it appears. But I'd like to challenge you to look into it further and ask yourself, Am I living my fears or am I living my freedoms? For a personal example, I am wanting to expand my personal website, davidtoddmiller.com. I've been working on a aquatic program called Mer Muscle. Wait for it to come out. And uh, uh, it is my goal to be able to use that as a platform to reach you guys, to reach a larger audience, to inspire and motivate and educate and demonstrate how to live a more fit and well lifestyle, having a positive attitude and just how far that can go. But if I were to just take this weekend and sit back, relax, and not get ahead while more or less the world is on pause, at least for the weekend, then it's not going to go in my favor anytime soon. Now, like I said, and I don't know your story, But I do know that there are pockets of time that allow us to work on something other than just what we're doing to pay the bills. Now, again, if you're somebody who is working somewhere where it is your dream job, you are living the dream, this message may not be for you. Uh, If you're already in that position, maybe the question is, how can you improve it? How can you make it even better? How can you make the dream the grand dream? How can you make your relationships better in and out of the workplace? How can you make it more efficient? What would make the dream so unbelievable to you that you can't just wait to wake up and it's a hard time falling asleep because you're already living the dream. You don't have to fall asleep to have it. So if you're in that place, I am so excited for you. I'm so proud of you for already being there and getting there and putting in whatever hard work you had to do to be there. But Never be satisfied. Be happy with what you've accomplished. Be proud of the hard work that you put up to this point. But never be content. 
never be at the point where you are resting on your laurels because it's dangerous. Because when you get to that point, where is the excitement? Where is the challenge? Where is the daring person that lives inside you striving to be more? It's that kind of person that has a fire inside of them that when they get up, they change the world. It might just be in their own little world, their immediate family, their coworkers, but it sends ripples. People people pick up on it. People pick up on that energy, that power, that zest for life, and it translates to the people around them, and it, like I said, it ripples across the world in one way or another. So you got to have that passion, guys. you got to have that thing that lights a fire inside your soul and gets you up in the morning, gets going, and when things are going, going bad, things are going sideways, you just keep going. You don't sit around in hell. You go right through it because you know on the other side it's going to be a heaven that you've worked for, strived for, and you could not be more proud of that. Now, if you're the person that says, I'm just glad I got through the work week, I put in my time, I'm getting my paycheck, I'm happy, I'm celebrating. I challenge you to ask yourself, could there be more? Could there be more to my life than just doing the nine to five or the five to nine, whatever your shift is, than just putting in the time to make a buck? Is what you're doing worthwhile? Are you making a difference in your life? Are you making the difference in others' lives? Are you making a difference that will carry on and help others long after you've passed? Are you building a legacy or are you just existing? Now, that's not to shortcut anybody's hard work. Hard work is admirable. Hard work is what makes America run and be the country that it is. We have built this country off of hard work, sacrifice, work ethic, and I could not be more proud to be a part of all that, to be an American, to be a part of the workforce, if you will. But the question still remains, could you be more? Could you do more? And so coming back to that question, are you living your fears? Fears being you're not getting to where you want to be. You're not satisfied with your job. You're not satisfied with your relationships. You're not satisfied with where you are in life. And you may answer the question, well, it's just okay. You know, I don't mind it too much. I'm pretty happy with where I am. Things are going pretty good. But is that pretty good going to be something that is going to sustain you for the long journey of life? Is that going to be something where you, on your deathbed, look back and say, you know what? I live my life right. Or are you going to say, man, I wish I had done something? Oftentimes, when people are asked who are on their deathbed or, you know, very elderly, you know, 90, 100 years, wherever they are towards the end of their life, they're asked, is there anything you would have done differently? And more often than not, it is not the things that they did do, it's the things that they did not. And so... Look ahead to where you want to be in one year, 12 months from now. Where do you want to be in three years, five years, 10 years, 50 years? Where do you want to be at the end of it all? What legacy do you want to leave? What difference do you want your life to have made? So that's the fear side. Not being able to achieve that. Not being able to make a difference. We all have something that is great within us, something that makes us different and unique than every single other person in this world. Seven billion of us, and we all have a different story. We all have different experiences. We all have different upbringings. There, there's As much as we'd like to fool ourselves into thinking that we're not unique, we could not be further from the truth. We are someone, you are someone who is special because of the life that you've lived to this point. And the awesome thing about it is that there are people who are living similar to you or that will live similar to
to the life that you live. They can connect with you and learn from the life that you've lived, that their lives can be better because you were here, because you shared your story and people were able to learn from it and live a better life. Whether you had a bad experience, whether you had a great experience, or whether you're just sharing how you're appreciative of having one more day to live, how you're appreciative to wake up in the morning, as simple as it may sound, how beautiful that can be. And so what are your freedoms? What is that dream that may be in the back of your mind, or it may be scratching and clawing at the front of your mind saying, when are we going to step up to the plate and do something about this greatness that we have in us? When are we going to stop being in the back, taking it easy and jump in the driver's seat and start hauling ass? Excuse my French. When are we going to get going on the highway to success, highway to our dreams, highway to a better tomorrow for yourself and for the people around you and hopefully for those that come after you. What does freedom look like? I would challenge you to look beyond the monetary value and ask yourself deeply and wholeheartedly, what kind of a difference can you make? What special skill, what experience, what talent do you have that you can share with others that will give them inspiration, give them a bridge to build upon to reach their goals. If you've lived, you have something to share with others. And if you're listening to this, you're living. So you got you have a responsibility, even if it's just to the people near you, to raise them up. We're all going through something. You know, like I said, I'm looking at these these people coming off the train and they're tired, man. And I don't blame them. It's life is hard. Life is it, it, the more each day I go through this, I, I realize just how hard it is. And I'm living from a very blessed, a very, if you will, spoiled uh, viewpoint. I have a home. I have food in my fridge. I have I got the AC on right now. I got good clean water. I can take a shower. You know, I got I got enough, you know, finances to not worry about the next bill coming in. I have so many things to be blessed for and so many things to be thankful for. And so I challenge you to ask yourself the same question. What what blessings do you have in life and to not let life bog you down? Like I said, I lost, I lost my little guy. I lost Snickers, my dog, and that took the wind out of me pretty good. But you know what? I still had a lot of great times with him. I still have all these wonderful memories of him just running around, having a blast, and I, I couldn't be happier to have had that, even though he's now gone, right? And we only, we only live so long. We only get to be on this patch of dirt for so long, and then that's it. One day we're here, and the next day we're gone. As morbid and depressing as that may sound, that's it. But that is also what gives life its beauty, is because it is finite. And what we can do in that time is nothing short of miraculous. We can move mountains. We can build skyscrapers. We can change the world in so many ways. And how beautiful is that? That one person with an idea can change the hearts and minds of men and women. It, it's, it's something that is breathtaking that the human mind, the human heart, the human body, the human soul can make such a difference in the world. And we can make it for the better, or we can make it for the worse. We have both wolves inside us. And it's our call, it's our decision, not just every day, or every hour, or every minute, but every moment, that we get to choose which one we feed. Are we feeding the wolf of fear, 
or the Wolf of Freedom. So with this weekend, again, ask yourself, which one are you feeding? Which one are you living? And could you be doing more? Could you use this time to connect with somebody that maybe you haven't connected with for a while? Could you use this time to work even more, even though you've put in your, your work week and get ahead so that you can have that opportunity to spend more time with the people that you love or to not worry about your finances or to accomplish that dream that has always been in your mind but never come to fruition? You guys all have it in you because you're human and we are capable of anything we set our minds to. Set our minds to, excuse me. And you shouldn't limit yourself to the opinions of others and you should follow your intuition, whatever that may be. Follow your heart and make the world a better place in the way that only you can and the only way that you know how. Don't let the distractions distract you. Don't go with the flow. The flow of society, the status quo, it's an easy way out. It's a cop out. People will take the easy way out the majority of the time. Be the one that goes upstream. Be the one that goes against the current and makes a difference in your life and, again, the lives of the people around you. I wish you all a wonderful weekend, a safe weekend for everybody that is um, down in the Carolinas and being affected by the storms. Prayers go after you guys. I wish you all the best. Be safe out there. And to everybody, God bless. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care. This is David Miller. Out. Thanks again, guys, for taking time out of your day to listen to the podcast. Also, thanks to Natural Machine Nutrition for sponsoring this podcast. If you're interested in natural supplements without fillers, dyes, chemicals, anything like that, check out Natural Machine Nutrition at naturalmachinenutrition.com. And if you would like to contact me for any reason for podcast ideas, people who you'd like to hear interviews from, anything like that, go ahead and send me an email at info at davidtodmiller.com. Also, open to constructive criticism. Would really appreciate it. Always trying to do my best to help you guys out. You can also find more content at davidtodmiller.com. I have workout videos, nutrition videos, some cookbook recipes, behind the scenes of any kind of fitness modeling or anything like that that I've done. And if you're interested in personal training or nutrition, you can reach me at wallstreettrainer at gmail.com or you can go ahead and schedule a free consultation on the website. If you're not located here in New York City and looking for a one-on-one semi-private class for personal training, you can still reach out to me and I can put together an online program for you going over the details for workouts and or nutrition. And we can pretty much just correspond via a mobile application that you can download right on your phone. So that's another possibility as well. Again, thank you guys. Sincerely appreciate your time. Go out there, have fun, enjoy every moment life has to offer, live your passion, help others, and most of all, have hope. This is David Miller, out.